Ahoy toy, welcome to Transfixed. This episode is about a crappy custom that I made for G.I. Joe. In the Marvel comic books, Cobra often used this uh, transport helicopter, which was really cool. I always liked it. Um, but they never made a toy of it, and I was my young heart was crushed. I was really disappointed that we never had a toy of this. So I thought maybe I could make a custom. I, I saw online uh, some much better ones, but... Um, uh, the base I used was one of those uh, True Heroes Army helicopters from uh, Toys R Us. I couldn't find a better one, although I know there are some out there. For example, I've seen these customs on uh, Haste Tank and other sites, and uh, they make a great base. I mean, look at the stuff you can do with it. These are amazing. But I couldn't find that. Um, it's a Chat May helicopter, which I think is the same manufacturer as uh, True Heroes and Elite Force and all that stuff. But I could never find one online or anywhere, so uh, I had to settle for the helicopter I could find at Toys R Us, which was uh, this one. So what I did was I uh, used my diamond tooth chainsaw and cut the back of it off, the whole back section here, so that it would have that empty empty space. Um, I don't have anything I can use as a cargo module to put in there, but that, that's okay. And then I built these ones from, uh, I guess you'd say from scratch. I uh, bought a pack of this uh, evergreen plastic. It's just sheets of uh, sheets and tubes of plastic in various sizes. Um, I think I ordered this from eBay or maybe Amazon. But uh, you can see there's various pieces that you get and you just cut them to the size you need. So these ones are just flat pieces I just scored with an X-Acto knife and then uh, on, on both sides, of course, and then snapped in half. Uh, it's styrene plastic is what that is. So yeah, I just made these pieces here. Actually, inside of there is a coat hanger that I used for the angle. Uh, a plastic hanger. I just cut, obviously, the, the pieces off except for here. And then uh, super glued that in place. And then I built these flat pieces around it. Drilled holes very carefully and put these plastic tubes through. The wheels I got from um, a cheap ATV toy from uh, Walmart. Uh, you guys should get those at the dollar store too. It should be uh, even cheaper. I also cut off uh, some of this gun, it had a magazine at the bottom, it was kind of goofy I thought. I removed this um, little blade that was sticking out here, some kind of fin. And um, I left this light as intact as possible, but you can see there's some uh, putty around there that I haven't quite... Uh... I spray painted this and then I kind of cut, cleaned this up afterwards, so uh, it's not the cleanest job. and I'm kind of not happy with these holes, but I don't know what to cover them with. I tried tape, but it didn't work so well. So I'm sure I could easily put something over the top of there if I thought about it. And then these uh, stickers I got from uh, CobraStickers.com, which is now part of Toy Hacks, I guess. And uh, I think that makes it look quite a bit better. Blue is just um, blue spray paint. Um, and then I painted this black and then dry brushed it with uh, silver paint. So um, it could use some paint inside. You can see I've got some blue overspray inside the uh, seat here. It doesn't fit G.I. Joe figures that well, actually. It's actually too much room there. They just kind of flop around. So it, it could use a, um, could use like a console in there. Maybe I'll try to add something. Uh, what else can I tell you about this thing? Oh, I, I cut off those pieces with uh, my Dremel rotary tool and using this. Uh, it wasn't actually a diamond tooth chainsaw, but it's... Uh, maybe it's made of diamonds. It's pretty sparkly. Yeah, of course not. That's just a uh, cutting blade. And let's see, I don't know what else to tell you. Let me show you the figures, I guess. Here's a classic uh, 1984, I think, figure. I can put him in there. As you can see, he's, he slides down. It'd be great if there was um, a clip on the, uh, or a peg on the seats to hold him in. Or as I say, a console of some kind. Oh, I did remove this before painting too. It's, um, the paint you see on there is some overspray of gray or white. I was painting something else and being careless as usual. And we could try a modern figure. Here's modern Copperhead. Let's get him in there. These fit a little better because they're a bit taller. Much better actually. And then this is one of the True Heroes figures that is supposed to go inside of it. I mean, not this exact figure, but it's the same toy line at least. How does he fit in there? Uh, pretty well, pretty well. About as well as a modern figure. Maybe that's because his gun is in his hand, actually. Yeah. I, got, I love these figures. They're just 
So cool. So that, oh, this rotates too, but I don't know. I need to paint this red. I haven't done that yet. Yeah, I really came alive with the uh, Cobra emblem added to it. So that's one of my more extensive customs, I guess. Uh, the first time I've been using styrene plastic and building my own parts, I was uh, really kind of apprehensive about that. So it took me a long time to actually finish this model. But um, I'm glad it's finally done. I don't know what I'm going to do with it now that I've done it. I guess I'll find a shelf for it somewhere. But uh, I'm glad I have some very liberal approximation of, uh, of that classic helicopter from the comic books. Pretty happy with that. So hey, if you watch this, thanks for watching, and thanks for watching.